everybody, Dust Doctor here. So it's been a couple weeks, so I thought I'd talk about my uh, Rembo uh, brakes and hydraulic cr clutch. And all I can say is that I'm very pleased with them. Uh, took a couple of rides to actually figure out what adjustment was uh, right for me on the bike. As far as the brakes, and I tried uh, a couple different settings again in the clutch, and uh, overall they have been actually exceeding expectations. The uh, you know the Brembo master cylinder for the brake, of course, is you know state-of-the-art technology. Like the uh, the Sock Honda, you know, was was good in its era. I think this is actually much better. I uh, can adjust the lever far more uh, positions than was ever available with the, uh, the stock Honda adjustments. And uh, in fact, uh, some of the aftermarket levers I tried really didn't offer much more of an improvement either. So I was uh, quite happy with them. And it was the same with the clutch. The uh, the clutch lever is actually much lighter now than what it was on the uh, the stock Honda unit. And I also find that now that I've got the setting set to the way I prefer the clutch point, that the uh, the clutch is much easier to slip off the start. Like most people know that R51s are kind of geared a little tall, so launching them is not exactly super easy compared to most uh, street bikes. And uh, changing the adjustment on the Brembo Clutch Master Cylinder made life a heck of a lot easier. I actually uh, really enjoyed it, uh, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, some people have uh, suggested replacing the uh, the stock uh, Clutch Slave Cylinder with ap uh, aftermarket version. They've uh, I've actually had a couple of people make suggestions, and. Uh, I am going to take that into consideration, but for now I'm just going to stick with uh, with what I have. But if I ever come down and need to replace one, I will definitely look into those uh, suggestions. Now the actual Bremble brakes themselves uh, much better than the uh, the stock uh, Nissans. I'm definitely getting a lot more bite, and the bike is actually uh, slowing down now a lot better. I've tried multiple different types of brake pads and uh, rotors on the RC and uh, they just never really worked. So I ended up uh, really liking what I got on the uh, on the uh, RC51 now. So overall I definitely would say this is well worth uh, looking at uh, if you don't mind spending the money. Like there is a really high uh, price point on this but for me like this is my 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 dream bike technically so I don't know real the intentions of uh, getting rid of it so I don't mind spending a little extra money on it now what I will do here is I will cut to a, a video back in my garage where I can show some of the adjustments that are available on the uh, on the levers that uh, gives you some uh, idea as to what actually is involved. It's uh, it's really overall pretty simple. You just need to have a uh, straight, straight slot screwdriver to, uh, to adjust the levers. So I have to excuse the audio. I'm doing this outside. Uh, this rubber bung, which you just peel off with your finger, Has a uh, conceals a screw that you may or may not be able to see, and you just stick a straight slot screwdriver. So it's now rotated over, and you can see it's black here now. And that's actually the higher uh, uh, pressure setting in the cam, and I use the lower pressure setting for the uh, clutch, and you can see that's shown here as being red. And you can adjust the lever uh, 
about 16 clicks in increments here so it's actually way more than the four that you get with the standard Honda. So the brake side is the exact same uh, system. You have the, uh, the bung in here. And again you change the uh, by using a screwdriver you change it over from the lower uh, ratio to the higher. And again it's got the same adjustment. You just adjust it for what you happen to prefer. Yeah so anyways I hope you enjoyed the whole series of the uh the brake uh, upgrade and install and what the costs and whatnot were and my uh, opinions and so forth of the results feel free to give me any uh, comments suggestions whatever hopefully I'm looking forward to a, a nice riding season now that the COVID thing is sort of backing up and I hope everyone else is as well Death Doctor Signing off.